You are welcome to my channel. This is VSM Designs. Today, we are going to learn how to make this designer's kaftan pocket, which can boost your sales while you make extra money. Adding unique pocket designs to your kaftan can open up new avenues for income. Whether you are a fashion enthusiast or an upcoming entrepreneur, this skill can add value to your life. If this is your first time on this channel, Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when next I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. If you are a returning fan, thank you for checking back. Now let's dive straight to the tutorial. This is 5 inches by 6 inches pocket size. This is the upper part of the pocket and I'm going to measure 2 inches and mark it off. Then I'm going to use freehand sketch to sketch the shape of how I want the pocket to look like. Remember that I'm doing this on the front side of the gum. I give it a curvy shape just the way I want it to appear. I also want to give a similar shape to this part. So from the down side, I'm going to measure one inch. Then I'm measuring one and a half inches to be the size of the opening. I'll also curve it. And I'm smoothening the curve to an extent so that it will be easier to pipe. Then you trim it off according to what you've just drawn. Always try to elevate your kaftan designs with this type of custom pockets that reflect your creativity and signature style because you need to stand out in the crowded fashion industry and attract customers seeking something special. Customers always watch out for unique styles that will make them stand out in the crowd. So unlock the potentials of designers kaftan pocket and turn your passion into profit. And that's it. Remember we are still making use of this. This is how it's going to be. This is the fabric I'm going to gum it on. And because this fabric is somehow white, it's me color. It's a very bright color. I'm going to trim off all these places that the ink is still showing. Otherwise, it will stain the fabric. So I'm going to gum it to the fabric. And I've just done that. Let's trim the excess fabrics by the side of the pocket. You are going to trim it exactly from the where the gum stopped. You are trimming it round except the upper part which we are going to use to fold the top. This is how we are going to place it later on. So you can just trim off parts of the excess fabric here. This is the fabric I'm going to use as a combination. This side is not elastic. 
this side is not elastic so we are going to cut it this way that is elastic in other words we are going to cut it by us please it's important that you give this video a thumbs up because when you do the youtube algorithm tends to show it to more people that will benefit from this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video youtube will notify you first although i didn't measure the size of this strap i just got but it should be around 1.5 inches wide then we are going to sew it to the pocket this is the front part and this is the front part of the combination as well you place them face to face and i'm using the size of the footer to measure the space i'm leaving because the spacing has to be uniform from start to end otherwise your pocket will not look nice some parts will be bold while some will not will be very tiny you have to run the thread with care you don't have to rush just run the thread gently even if it will take you to hand roll the machine it's fine and good but the most important thing is that the pocket comes out nice your piping comes out nice and in uniform So I'm going to bend it this way, turn it to the reverse side. I will notch these areas then I will go to the table and smoothen it I'm not going to show you that area but it's something that you can do perfectly this is how it's going to look like I'll just use my iron to smoothen it very well then add slice of hemming gum to it and I've done that then we are going to pipe this other side You are going to place it this way and give a little allowance you are going to pull the allowance upwards bring it to the back this way and so remember to maintain the same size that you used while sewing the first side run it gently slowly and carefully you can see i try to raise my footer a bit while doing it because the curve is somehow sharp if you wonder how i achieved this pocket design click on the link showing at the top right corner of your screen right now i've also dropped the link on the comment section and also on the description box
then let's trim off this we are turning it this way this is how it's going to be again i will also go to the table and smoothen it with iron add sliced hemming gum to the back to hold it down and this is how it's going to look like okay and this is it the next we are going to do is to give this a crease with iron and also give this place a crease that's the top so that by the time we are going to place them they will align but as I do that I will bend this side and add hemming gum to it but the top I'm going to just form a crease And I've just done that. I formed creases on the top of the two parts. So it's now time to stitch them together. Remember our initial gum size was 5 inches but this pocket is going to be less than 5 inches and I will, I will tell you why look at this place if you make it up to 5 inches here will be showing so we are going to reduce it a bit So this is now four three quarter inches. In case you might not be able to control this, you might consider adding hemming gum under it or using affix pin to hold it down before you stitch. You now stitch. And now we are going to bend this this way and our pocket is ready thank you for watching this video click on the banners showing on your screen right now to watch more of my amazing tutorials